This was announced in warning letters. Just what was in that message, and is it clear what the impact would be on November's election? Well, basically, uh, what the United States Postal Service was uh, telling uh, the states uh, was that uh, given the situation and given the changes in uh, the legislation about mail-in votings and the, the amount of people who are going to be voting by mail, they feel that they won't be able to have all those ballots uh, mailed and uh, distributed in time to be counted for the November election. And to give you an idea of what that means, in 2016, about 20 percent of American voters voted by mail. Uh, this year, they're expecting about 70 percent of voters to be at least allowed to vote by mail. Will they? That's another question. But it gives you an idea of how big the change has been because of COVID. And a lot of states have been starting uh, to change their rules about uh, mailing voting. Nine states and the District of Columbia are now uh, automatically uh, mailing in a ballot to uh, their voters. I have already received a, a letter from uh, the District of Columbia telling me uh, to uh, check my address and that I will be receiving a, a mail-in ballot automatically. 33 states in the U.S ask you to request that mail-in uh, ballot, but they do uh, either give you absentee ballots with no reason, or they allow you to use coronavirus as a reason. Only eight states so far haven't changed their rules and uh, say that they're not going to allow coronavirus as a reason for absentee ballots. So uh, really, uh, the situation is completely uh, different uh, this year, and the United States Postal Service simply says that it's not going to be able uh, to deal with the amount of mailing ballots, a lot of lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, from states who have used mail-in ballots uh, in the past, say that uh, the United States Postal Service absolutely can uh, do it, but some states are already trying to change their deadlines or to push people uh, to tell them to try to vote as early as they can, to send that mail-in ballot as early as they can in order to get it in by that deadline. Donald Trump's been criticized for his feud with the USPS. This is not new. It's been going on for weeks, even months now. And another part of the blame being shared by the Postmaster General himself, Louis De Louis DeJoy. Yes, exactly. This uh, really controversy surrounding the USPS has been going on for a while, but it has really heated up in uh, recent weeks. Now, uh, DeJoy is uh, someone that has been appointed by Donald Trump. He was appointed just uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, from the start, uh, it was uh, controversial. He is a, a big Trump ally, a big Trump a donor, and uh, people were not really happy with his appointment. And since then, he has made drastic cuts. He has made a lot of changes to the uh, USPS. He has uh, removed, for example, overtime. He has uh, delayed and uh, made the, the delivery of mail uh, slower. And that has created a situation where we are now, where the USPS is saying, we won't be able to uh, bring the mail uh, to you in time. Uh, now, uh, this uh, comes also at a time when there's a question of uh, increased funding for the USPS, where the Congress is trying to bring some more money into the Postal Service. Donald Trump, at one point, hinting that he would veto any deal that gave more money to the USPS because he did not want uh, them to be able to fund that mass mail-in uh, voting. He has now sort of backtracked uh, that uh, statement, but not completely. And DeJoy is also being criticized because uh, he is a very controversial figure. Uh, there is now an inspector general that has opened an investigation into uh, the new policies as well as into his dealings, because he has apparently a lot of investments in competitors to the USPS, uh, like Amazon. So it really uh, is a whole controversy and everyone in the United States, all the pundits, all the lawmakers are really focused on these four letters, USPS. It's the word of the day in Washington, D.C. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin. Kevin.